Welcome to our podcast, where we cover unique and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss NASA's launch of the Prefire satellite to monitor, predict, and help combat climate change. Climate change is a reality that can't be denied, although many have tried. On May 25th, NASA launched a tiny satellite that will help better climate change predictions in a warming world. The satellite was launched into orbit atop Rocket Lab's Electron rocket from the company's Launch Complex 1 in Mahia, New Zealand. NASA's pre-fire mission will use two shoebox-sized cube satellites, or CubeSats, to measure the amount of heat our planet Earth radiates into space from two of the coldest, most remote regions on the planet the North and South Poles. Speaking at a recent news conference, NASA's Earth Sciences Research Director Karen Saint-Germain said, This new information, and we've never had it before, will improve our ability to model what's happening in the poles, what's happening in climate. The satellite will take infrared measurements far above the Arctic and Antarctic to measure directly the heat that the poles release into space, reports AFP. NASA's innovative Prefire mission will fill a gap in our understanding of the Earth system, providing our scientists a detailed picture of how Earth's polar regions influence how much energy our planet absorbs and releases, said Saint-Germain. This will improve prediction of sea ice loss, ice sheet melt, and sea level rise, creating a better understanding of how our planet's system will change in the coming years. Crucial information to farmers tracking changes in weather and water, fishing fleets working in changing seas, and coastal communities building resilience. With Profire, NASA aims to understand how clouds, humidity, and the melting of ice affect heat loss from the poles. According to Tristan Lecuyer, a mission researcher at the University of Wisconsin, Madison, climate change scientists have till now been relying on theoretical models instead of real observations to measure heat loss. Hopefully, we'll be able to improve our ability to simulate what sea level rise might look like in the future and also how the polar climate change is going to affect the weather systems around the planet, he said. According to Saint Germain, small satellites like this are an affordable method to address specific scientific inquiries. She said that while larger satellites can be thought of as generalists, the small ones are specialists, and NASA needs both. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay connected for more exciting discussions and updates in our next podcast.